I was originally a school teacher. I taught high school English for about 10 years. And uh, my husband and I adopted our daughter and I stayed home with her for about six years. And when she graduated out of what I call the baby girl department at the department store and into the big girl department, the clothing styles that were available there honestly to me were not age appropriate. So I started sewing for her. And everywhere we went, everybody was like, hey, I wanna buy that for my, my child, will you make it for me? And it grew into this little boutique business. And I would go to these quilting shows and tailoring shows to learn how to sew faster. I ran into this lady and she said, have you ever thought about logo wear? and the light bulb went off and I thought, oh my goodness, I think, I think I might have to try this. So that night I went back to my hotel room and I got the notepad from the desk and I started visualizing the logos of businesses in Springfield that I might be able to approach. I got back home and I digitized all those logos. I went to one of the dollar stores and I bought fingertip towels and I stitched out all those logos on those towels. I rolled them all up and put a little bow on them and put my business card with them, put them in a basket, and I went out on foot. And I went door to door to all of those businesses and I said, here's what I can do with your logo. Do you have a need for shirts or uh, any kind of work apparel? And I sold out the first day. So we started the business in the spare bedroom and eventually I took over our entire basement, which was about 900 square feet. And the demand for what we were doing had grown to a point that I needed industrial size equipment. So our first brick and mortar store was in Ash Grove and we stayed there for a few years. We eventually expanded at that store. We actually opened a second location in Springfield in 2014. In 2015, uh, my mother was in a catastrophic car accident and that kind of changed the course of the business as well. I'm the only sibling that lives close to her and there are courses and things that happen in your life that cause you to make decisions you know based on what's important to you and your family. We gave up that location and we consolidated everything in this much bigger location right here in Republic and we've been here ever since.